Abra is a province in the Philippines that is located in the northwestern part of the country. Abra has an area of about 4,165 square kilometers, which makes it the 32nd largest province in the Philippines, just slightly bigger than Maspate, but smaller than Oriental Mindoro and Apayao. It is part of the Cordillera Administrative Region and is one of only 15 provinces in the Philippines that are landlocked. It is bordered by Apayao on the northeast, Ilocos Norte on the northwest, Kalinga on the east, the Mountain Province on the southeast, and Ilocos Sur on the west and south. Abra is enclosed by towering mountain ranges on its perimeter, with the Cordillera Central on the east and south, and the Ilocos Mountain Range on the north. Because of this, Abra has become a basin where rainwaters from the mountain ranges are collected and conveyed into the river system of the province. The two most important rivers in Abra are the Abra River, which is also called the Lagben River, and the Tineg River. These two rivers flow from opposite sides of the outer portions of the province and continue towards the middle, where they converge before finally exiting on the western part of the province near the coastal plains of Ilocos Sur. This river system shaped the land that it flows through into fertile valleys, while the rest of the province can be defined as rugged mountains and sloping hills. In fact, about 75% of Abra's territory can be considered as a forested area. It is for this reason that Abra boasts one of the most pristine and undisturbed natural sites in the Philippines, such as incredible mountain views, lakes, rivers, waterfalls, hot springs, and caves. The soaring mountain ranges that straddle the boundary of Abra acted as a natural wall that not only hindered people from disturbing its natural beauty, but also prevented invaders from the past from entering the province with ease. History The name Abra originated from the Spanish word abre, which means opening. The name was first used by the Spaniards to designate the place above the Banawang Gap, where the path of the river exits from the rugged mountains of Abra and enters into the coastal plains of Ilocos Sur. The first inhabitants of the province, which is now known as Abra, were the ancestors of Bontoks and Ifugaos. They eventually left and settled in the old mountain province. The Tingians, which means mountain dweller or Itnegs, were also early inhabitants of Abra and they still live in the far-flung areas of the province to this day. During the Spanish occupation, some Augustinian priests founded the town of Bangued in Abra in 1898, where the priests did missionary works and converted the indigenous people to Christianity. Because of the unethical treatment of the Spaniards, the people of Abra actively participated in the national uprising. In 1899, a revolutionary government was established in the province which stood strong for years up until the Americans took control of the province on August 19, 1909. Fun fact, Gabriela Silan, who is known as the Joan of Arc of the Philippines, fled with her army to Abra from Ilocos after her husband was slain. She stayed in Abra and continued the revolt there until the Spaniards captured and hanged her in 1763. The house where Gabriela Silang stayed during her revolt still stands to this day in the municipality of Tayum in Abra. Abra was part of the old Ilocos province before it split into the provinces of Ilocos Norte and Ilocos Sur. Even then, Abra was still a part of Ilocos Sur up until August 19, 1901, when a civil government was established in its political territory. But not long after, Abra was re-annexed to Ilocos Sur in February 1905, where it remained as a sub-province up until March 1917, when it finally gained its status as its own province. When the Japanese army reached the province of Abra in World War II, a guerrilla organization was created to counter the invading forces. But the Japanese were still able to inflict severe damage on the industries and properties in Abra. When the war was over, the Americans took over and established a new system of government in the province. Then, the Philippines gained independence from the U.S., and Abra remained relatively at peace to this day. Indeed, Abra is not only rich in natural sceneries, but also in history.
cities and economy. Abra has 27 municipalities. The capital is the municipality of Bangued, which is also the richest and the largest municipality by population, while the largest municipality by area is the municipality of Tineg. Because of its mountainous terrain, Almost all of the municipality centers of Abra are located close to its river system. Agriculture dominates the economy of Abra, and rice, corn, and root crops are the major crops it produces. Other commercial products of Abra include coffee, tobacco, and coconut, while the grassland and pasture areas are used for livestock production. Surprisingly, there is also an existing cottage industry in the province, as well as bamboo and rattan craft making. A major ethnic group of Abra called the Tinguians uses the bark of certain trees to make cloth. The women also produce blankets, mats, and pottery, while the men produce ropes, baskets, and nets. In addition, because of Abra's pristine nature and rich history, the province is now developing its tourism industry to contribute to its economy. As of 2020, Abra has a population of about 250,985. The majority of the inhabitants are descendants of Ilocano settlers and members of the Tingian tribe, while other ethnic groups such as the Ibanag and Tagalog make up just a portion of the population. The rest of the population is made up of small subgroups such as Addison Banao, Binungan, Balatok, Belwang, Gubang, Inalud, Mabaka, Mayang, Masadiit, and Amutan. Even though the province is relatively isolated and its population is low compared to other provinces, Abra is also home to some of the most famous people in the Philippines. Here are some of them, Roberto Nicolas Snafu Rigor. Snafu is a Filipino songwriter and vocalist who was born in Abra. He is best known for his work on the lyrics and music of some of the most popular songs in the Philippines. Some of his notable compositions are the following, Tiel Ako Sayo, Bato sa buhang in, bulag, pipi at bing e, macho guapito, Mr. Dream Boy, Boy I Love You, and many more. Next is Kurt Brian Barbosa. Born in Bangued, Kurt Brian de la Vega Barbosa is a Filipino Taekwondo athlete who competed in the 2020 Summer Olympics in Tokyo. He is best known for winning three gold medals in three consecutive Southeast Asian Games, specifically in 2019, 2021, and 2023. Next is attorney Quinton Paredes. Born in Bangued, Abra in 1884, attorney Quinton Paredes was a Filipino lawyer, politician, and statesman. In his long political career, he was able to serve the country as the attorney general, solicitor general, secretary of justice, member of the House of Representatives, speaker of the House, senator, and Senate president. Next is Jesus A. Villamore. Jesus A. Villamor was a fighter pilot who fought the Japanese in World War II. When the Japanese forces occupied the Philippines, he then served as an intelligence officer for the Americans, where he established a chain of communication between the Philippines and General Douglas MacArthur in Australia. He also coordinated numerous guerrilla movements against the Japanese. Next is Teofilo Garcia, born and raised in San Quentin, Abra. Teofilo Garcia is a Filipino farmer and hatter, he is considered a national living treasure in the Philippines for making tabong aw hats, which is a type of Ilocano headwear. He first learned how to make tabong aw hats from his grandfather, but he would eventually be known for making the smoothest and sturdiest tabong aw hats in his community. Other famous people from Abra are attorney Ignacio Villamor, who is the first Filipino president of the University of the Philippines and the father of Jesus A. Villamor, Conrado Balweg, the former Filipino Catholic priest turned rebel who founded the Cordillera People's Liberation Army, and Rene Dakel, the former WBC OPBF super flyweight champion. They may lack the population of other provinces in the country, but there is no shortage when it comes to talent and determination in the local people of Abra. Food. Aside from Abra's majestic landscapes and deep history, the province also charms visitors with its very unique cuisine. Because of the relative difficulty of entering and exiting Abra, contact between other provinces has been limited especially in the past. 
and thus resulting in its cuisine developing quite differently compared to other provinces in the Philippines. Most of the well-known dishes of the country are still part of its cuisine, but the people of Abra have added their own twist on these dishes. Just like other provinces, Abra also has its own unique version of Lashan. Instead of using tanglad or lemongrass to give flavor and aroma to the dish, the local people use karimboya, which is a species of cactus. This results in the dish having a uniquely slight sour taste that you will definitely enjoy. Maybe Cebuanos should worry because Abreños might take their place as having the best Lashan in the Philippines. Since Abra was previously a part of the old Ilocos province, and then Ilocos Sur, some foods in these periods are still part of the Abreño cuisine. For example, Bagnet, an Ilocano version of the more popular dish in the country known as Lashan Kawali, is popular among tourists and locals. Bagnet is basically a cross between Chicharon and Lachan Kawali. Next is Abra Miki. Abra Miki is a noodle soup that is made up of Miki noodles and pork and chicken stock. The soup is then colored with anato or atsuete seeds and then finally topped with crispy pork and egg. Abra Miki is so popular that the municipality of Bangued even has a festival specifically for this dish. Abreño cuisine is also known for its exotic foods, one of which is the Adobong Bayawak. Bayawak is a monitor lizard that is native to Africa, Asia, and Oceania. Adobong Bayawak is basically the same as pork or chicken adobo, but the only difference is the meat being used. Next is the Pipian Unga Tukak. This is a soup dish made with frog meat, anato seeds, and kamyas. Local people say this is best eaten while drinking Henebra San Miguel beer. They also have crispy abalone. The main component of this dish is the larva of abalabal, or the may beetle or june beetle. The larvae are first boiled with a mixture of water, vinegar, and salt to give it flavor which will then be sautéed to give it its crispy texture. Other notable dishes from Abra are imbaliktad, sinanglao, and sapsapuriket. Tourist Spots Abra is home to a number of waterfalls that feed the mighty rivers of the province. The closest waterfall from the capital municipality of Bangued is the Sapilang Twin Falls. It is just a 30-minute trek from Barangay Sagap of Bangued. The trek requires crossing a river and passing through small vegetation and a forested trail. The Twin Falls, however, are not identical, but they merge together in one place. The first one is tall, thin, and has multi-layers, while the second one descends quite smoothly on a continuous and sloping bare and broad rock face. Tourists can take a dip in some of the numerous pools at the bottom of the falls to refresh from their trek. Two of the most popular falls in the province are close to each other in the highland municipality of Tineg. These are the Kaparkan Falls and the Manambor Falls. Kaparkan Falls is the more famous of the two. Kaparkan Falls, or as the locals call it, Muluwin Falls, is a multi-tiered waterfall. The waterfalls contain multiple layers of small pockets of pools from different heights that overall are quite similar to that of rice terraces, which are also present in the province. Tourists can take a dip in any of the many pools of the waterfalls. Manambur Falls is the lesser-known waterfall of the municipality, but not lesser in value. Measuring around 10 meters high, the falls descend and carve a beautiful pool that is suitable for swimming and cliff jumping. Some locals say that Manambor Falls is mystical and that there is a kingdom underneath it, which is the cause of the drum-like sound of the waterfall. There are also two waterfalls that are relatively close to each other on the opposite side of Abra in the municipality of Tubo. These are the Tagpau Falls and the Kili Falls and Hot Spring. Tagpau Falls has a staggering height of about 120 meters, dwarfing the other waterfalls in the province. Surprisingly, the term tagpau is the local name of a female's pubic area, and the waterfalls resemble an inverted tagpau, so they named it as such. Kili Falls and Hot Spring is one of the underrated tourist attractions of the province because of the relative difficulty in getting there. However, this in turn is perfect for tourists that aren't so fond of crowded places because you can literally enjoy the falls and the hot spring all by yourself the majority of the time. It has a waterfall that is open for the entire year. It also has a hot spring next to it that flows into the icy cold Abra River. 
The trail towards the waterfall also passes through many scenic rice fields and a few hanging bridges. Abra is not only teeming with waterfalls, but it also houses several other bodies of water that are just as majestic. Carrying the name of the province itself is the mighty Abra River. One of the newest tourist attractions of the river is the kayaking adventure. First, travelers must go to Pomora Farm in the municipality of Pitigan next to Bangued, where they can rent kayaks. However, this service is only offered during the kayaking season from December up to late May, depending on the water levels of the river. Another tourist attraction is the Bellini Hot Spring located in the municipality of Bellini, next to the municipality of Tubo, where Kili Falls and Hot Spring is located. Travelers must prepare for a two-hour bumpy ride towards the location, but the view on the journey is full of lush greens of the mountain, cool air breeze of the highlands, and a fresh mist of the flowing river nearby. Another tourist attraction in the municipality of Tineg is the Piwek Rock Formations. These are glimmering white limestone rock formations on the banks of the Tineg River. Travelers can enjoy a picturesque view of the rock formation, and they can also swim and cliff jump on the cold waters of the Tineg River. Because Abra is surrounded by towering mountain ranges, it is also blessed with magnificent landscapes, the most breathtaking of which is the Apao Rolling Hills, located in Tineg, which is very close to the Kaparkan Falls. Apao Rolling Hills are a collection of hills that has a wave-like shape on their sides that snakes its way from the top to the bottom. Similar to the chocolate hills of Bohol, the color of the Apao Rolling Hills depends on the season. During the rainy season, the hills can have different shades of green, and in the dry season, the hills alter their appearance to a more brownish color. Visitors can enjoy a myriad of activities in the area, from the more adrenaline-producing activities of cycling, hiking, and climbing, to the more soothing activities of sunrise and sunset watching, and pictorials for Instagram. The province also hosts another majestic landscape site, which is viewed from an equally astonishing rock formation that resembles that of a particular scene from Disney's The Lion King. This site is named Mount Baluyen Rock Formations, located in the municipality of Likuan Bai. The rock formation overlooks the surrounding hills and vegetation. The site is perfect for drone shots, cinematic B-rolls, and Instagrammable photos. Abra also has its version of Mount Makiling, where the collection of mountains resembles the shape of a sleeping woman lying face up. It is known as Mount Bulyagao, but the locals also call it Sleeping Beauty. It is located in the municipality of Langadin. Hikers can encounter a plateau the size of a football field when scaling this mountain. From the summit, the mighty Abra River can be seen, as well as the nearby municipality of Langadin and some places in Ilocosur. Interestingly, Mount Bulyagao is visible from various places in Abra, and it strikingly dominates the western skyline of Bangued. Other notable tourist spots in the province include the Gabriela Silang Museum of Fine Arts in Tayum, St. Catherine of Alexandria Church also in Tayum, San Lorenzo Ruiz Shrine in Bangued, and Bangued Cathedral also in Bangued. They also have the Sabnangan Footbridge, which is said to be the longest suspension bridge in Southeast Asia, spanning about 560 meters in length. Another well-known bridge in the province is the Don Mariano Marcos Bridge. It is said that you can sing the entire Philippine national anthem while passing through the whole span of the bridge. The vast mountains of Abra also hide its majestic caves that house incredible stalactites and stalagmites formation. Two of the most popular caves are the Abualan Cave in the municipality of San Juan and the Libtec Cave in the municipality of Dolores. In conclusion, Abra has a lot to offer when it comes to culture and natural beauty. It can be considered as an undiscovered gem hidden in the heart of the mountain that requires laborious effort to genuinely witness and discover its true beauty. And that is all about Abra. The next video is about the province of Batanes. If you want to see more of this type of video, please hit the like button, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Unfortunately, a massive 7.0 magnitude earthquake hit the province of Abra in July of 2022. The earthquake devastated the province, resulting in 11 deaths and 615 injuries, and overall caused a total of 1.8 billion pesos in infrastructure damages in the province of Abra alone. The earthquake displaced more than 114,000 individuals.
400 houses were totally destroyed, and more than 13,000 houses were partially destroyed. Other infrastructure damages include government buildings, hospitals, schools, roads, and bridges. Regretfully, a number of iconic historical churches of the province were also massively affected, including the ones mentioned in this video, such as the St. Catherine of Alexandria Church and the San Lorenzo Ruiz Shrine. This video hopes to not only share the hidden beauty of the province, but also to spread awareness of the extensive devastation caused by this calamity.